It's YouTube Wednesday! What I'm working on now is a kind of a latex substitute for corpsing. Uh, I'm going to kind of run it through the paces and see how it works. I heard about this on a forum and I had to test it out. Uh, I am using latex caulk, painter's acrylic latex caulk. This is kind of the lowest of the low and the cheapest of the cheap as far as caulks go. Get in my caulking gun and the recipe they say for this is just this caulk and you're going to thin it down with ammonia. Empty that tube, have a brush, a little bit of ammonia. Now why it says lemon ammonia, I have no idea. Because if you put your nose in this, you will not smell lemons. All right, let's put in a little bit at first, just to, I mean, this caulk is pretty thin caulking. It's not like silicone where it's very, uh, very viscous. So to get this to latex consistency, I'm willing to bet I don't have to add too much of the uh, ammonia. Looks like a little more though. And I'm actually going to stop mixing with the brush. And I'm going to start mixing this with a little mixing stick. Have some paper towel. It's going to fold it along its dotted lines here first. Now I want to remove all of the straight edges. So while it's all folded up, I'm going to rip off each of these edges. The eye will pick out a straight edge really fast, so I don't even want to use them because they're that much work to blend and make them fit in. It's a lot less work if I just tear them off here. And now all of my edges are going to feather in a lot easier than a straight edge would. Start by getting my caulk and ammonia mixture kind of all over this skull here. This is a really bad crummy skull, but I can make something decent out of it. Even cheaply with this mixture here. Often a paper towel that has a printed design on one side I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a diamond pattern on one side of this. Well, on the other side, there isn't. So I can just use a side that's not all patterned when I lay it down. And this is going to be flesh. I'm kind of using my fingernails to, you know, poke some holes in it. All right. I really only want to use one side of this one piece of this paper towel at once. I don't want to double up. And this corpsing technique I can use on almost anything. Go ahead and put this over the face part. And I'm just using my finger to poke a hole where the eye is. Both sides pushing all that extra skin back around. Kind of the same thing for the nose.
Stripping off little pieces of paper towel, making sure it's saturated with the mixture, and adding it to the skull. I'm really building up those brows because they kind of make it look meaner. And now I want to add a lot to this bottom jaw here. So it's largely clean. Okay, this guy is mostly fixed up. What I want to do now is I want to fix his teeth because his skull kind of came with crummy teeth. Uh, and I'm going to use some of the teeth that I make in a hot glue. I'm preparing another little piece of paper towel, I'm getting it good and gummed up. It's going to be my gums or my lip. is really hard to do upside down and backwards by the way. It's like extreme corpse. All right, I actually have to flip him over now to get the top bit on. I'm not going to do a top bit. I'm actually pretty happy with how just that looks. Just going to blend those in a little better. Alright, right there's my new one. And uh, I'm going to let this dry and I will show you the finished product for one like it. Okay, I've got a pretty good bit of coverage on there. I'm going to use paper towels now. And just kind of wipe that coverage down to get that vibrancy back and some contrast.
Alright, so that there is a skull that I used a latex substitute to corpsify and then I used Tandy antique leather stain to color it. Uh, it was that simple, all you missed was the drying time.